Huan Yin is the embodiment of compassionate loving kindness. It is generally accepted that Kuan Yin originated as the merciful Lord of Utter Enlightenment, which is her male form, since all representations of Bodhisattva were masculine. Later images might show female and male attributes, since Bodhisattva, in according with the Lotus Sutra, has the magical power to transform the body into any form required to relieve suffering and to teach the Dharma to all sentient beings, so that Kuan Yin is neither male nor female, woman nor man, adult nor child, human nor human being. In Mahanya Buddhism, to which Chinese Buddhism belongs, gender is no obstacle to enlightenment as utter reality is in emptiness. No other figure in the Chinese pantheon appears in such a variety of images and of which there are said to be thousands of different incarnations or manifestations. In some Buddhist temples and monasteries, Kuan Yin's image is occasionally depicted as that of a young man dressed in Buddhist robes sitting gracefully. He is usually depicted looking or glancing down, symbolizing that Kuan Yin continues to watch over the world. In China, Guan Yin is in a woman is a woman wearing white flowing robes and usually wearing necklaces of Indian or Chinese royalty and dons a crown. In her left hand she holds a jar containing pure water and in the right holds a willow branch. She is often depicted either alone, standing atop a dragon, accompanied by a white parrot, flanked by two children or flanked by two warriors. There are temples all over China dedicated to Kuan Yin, and she is worshipped by women in South China more than in the North. The 20th century legend of the Buddhist saint Miao Shan, the Chinese princess who lived in about 700 BC, is widely believed to have been Kuan Yin reincarnated which reinforced the image of the Buddha Vista as a female. In Europe and America, believers have spread a devotional cult beyond Buddhism, Taoism, and folk traditional beliefs, so that Guan Yin is not only a Bodhisattva or a goddess, but a focus of devotion. She has a strong resonance with the Christian Mary, the mother of Jesus, and the Tibetan goddess Tara, goddess of compassion and mercy. Taoists and Buddhists both revere her. Hey guys, it's Cricket Song and I'm here to talk to you about my experiences with Kuan Yin. Now before I, and Alchemy is here to share his experiences with Kuan Yin too. I want to first make note that I am uploading this video in April, but this is for my experience in March. And I had chosen Kuan Yin. I had chosen Kuan Yin as a god to work with, because this month I was also working with Tara, green Tara to be specific. <clears throat> and when I chose Kuan Yin, I knew that there was de depictions of Kuan Yin as a goddess, but I also knew that there were some depictions of Kuan Yin as a god, which is was my intention of learning more about Kuan Yin and working with this god in his in her or his male form. However, in researching and um, researching the god slash goddess, I found that there was more focus on Guan Yin as a female deity. And in doing that, it was clear to me that Guan Yin and Green Tara were sort of one in the same. So I did not invoke Guan Yin. And I generally, all my <clears throat> working with her really, I felt, was through Tara, the green Tara, 
instead. Although when I when I did work and did meditation, the image sort of kept shifting between the two. She would be Green Tara and then she would be the Merciful Mother with the white robe and, and that whole image. It was the same frequency, the same energy, just her different faces. And I found that I didn't really resonate more with one or the other. Um, and in fact, at one point, she sort of merged into the Virgin Mary. So, um, I, I, I don't want to go into too much detail of, of how I feel that she manifested in my life because I really want to leave something for my other video on, on the Green Tara uh, and um, want to get more into that on that video because I feel like that was, I did invoke the Green, uh, green Tara, I did invoke her and um, although when she manifested, it sort of was a merging and a shifting between Guan Yin and Green Tara. So I actually didn't have a God aspect that I worked with this month. So, but I don't feel like I was lacking either. So I'm not, um, I'm not disappointed. It just, it happened the way it's supposed to happen. So now that alchemy is getting in the way, in the way, I'm going to say thank you, and um, if you want to know more of the personal experiences I did have, uh, go watch the, the video I did on Green Tara. And as always, guys, Alchemy and I love you. Bye.